Welcome to EBI SQL e Invoice Sharing. We proudly invite Mr. Brian Chong, who is the Ambassadors and Speakers of SQL Accounting Software. He is a CEO of Syntax Technology as well. We are going to share a series of Q&A about e-invoice to all of you. If you are first time watching this video, please watch our previous video so that you can get the better understanding of e-invoice. Currently, there are a lot of companies import or buy goods from foreign country suppliers. If we buy goods from foreign suppliers, can we use the supplier's invoice as e-invoice? No, definitely not. Because foreign country supplier invoice do not match the requirement of Malaysia ISDN e-invoice. So that's why you need to do something called self-bill e-invoice that we mentioned earlier in the previous video. Can you roughly share with us what is the format of the self bill e invoice? Now, basically, you will still use your company invoice. Imagine the company invoice letterhead will be your company information. Then you need to specify the supplier details, the address and so on need to be the foreign country supplier details. Then there will be customer sessions where this part you put in your own company information, meaning that even though the letterhead is your own company, but the supplier is a foreign country supplier, the customer is your own company. So this is a normal format for self bill e invoice. If your company have purchased stock or maybe import those items from overseas, it's time for you to plan now on how the format of self bill e invoice and the process flow of your companies on issuing the self bill invoice. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you, Ryan. Stay okay. tuned for our next video. Bye.